Welcome back to Hatterfall Boyfriend. Why am I playing this again? I don't know why I'm playing this again. Maybe I just want to make stupid voices. It's still a long time until the semester starts and I still have a lot of ho still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job since I have the chance. I'll get a job. Yeah, we'll get a job. I think I saw a flower at the station hiring high school students over the summer. It was the cafe, right? The cafe. It's beautiful in here. Oh my. Pardon me, miss, but we're not open yet. If you could come back at noon. Oh, sorry, I was here to ask about the job. The proprietor of the cafe is an extremely elegant parakeet. A true gentle bird fans out. This must be what people mean when they refer to mature attractiveness. All the students at school are young and hyper, and the most dignified birds there are the teachers. Oh, is that right? Forgive me. I am called Urshihara Kenzaburu. I am the owner of Torimi Cafe. I'm Bait Shark. Welcome, Miss Shark. I hadn't expected a human. Um, are you going to interview me? I do not need to. I do not see any need to test such a wonderful young lady's desire to work here. And I believe you'll be much more capable than I at moving boxes of coffee and tea about. I'll be glad to. After all, I'm a vitality girl. I shall be relying on you for the summer then, Miss Shark. It's perhaps a little sudden, but could you start tomorrow? Of course! I'm glad I should be waiting for you here in my cage. Tomorrow then, Miss Shark. Today's my first day working at Mr. Urushihara's cafe. I think I'll leave early to make a good impression. Good morning, Miss Shark. Good morning, sir. Let me start by showing you where everything is. I'm sure you'll be able to remember everything soon, so please ask if you can find something. He shows me around the cafe, explaining everything inside. The shop is small and it keeps everything very tidy, so I'll be able to remember it all. Well then, what do you think? It's very nice, I almost want to move in. Come now, it's far too plain for a young lady such as yourself. Actually, compared to my hair... Excuse me? Mm, I saw the flyer at the station and... Ryota! Shock! What are you doing here? A friend of yours, Miss Shark. Oh yes, this is Ryota. You came for the job too, Ryota. Yeah, I saw that it starts at noon, so I thought I could fit it in after my other job. But if you've already got the position, then that, that's... Um, Mr. Urushara... Ur Urushihara? <laughs> could you use two people? Um, sadly, my cage is too small to have that much work to do. I should do the job. I'm sorry, Ryota, but I really want to do this. Don't worry about it, Shark. I've got a couple more places to check. Good writer. Perhaps some other time. I will be here if you are looking for something later on. I'll keep that in mind, sir. Have fun, Shark. All for oneself. Almost opening time, I'm kind of nervous, but I'm not about to mess up after taking the job from Ayuta. I wonder who's the first customer of my life will be. Y'all get a new girl? A human? I put your regard, steps in the door. The first customer of my life, a young man who doesn't quite suit the atmosphere of the cafe. I was hoping for somebody who'd raise a few more flags, maybe a white peacock. Welcome! Would you like a bath or a meal? Or maybe you'd like Mr. Orishahara. Uh, dig Kenzaburo. Hey, just wait a minute now. Yes, a perfect blade reaction. Oh, hello, Rabu. This is Rabu, Miss a regular customer. I'm suffering of an important figure here. See this card? 206 stamps. Amazing. Is he a cafe addict? Hey, what was it that when I came in? I wanted to provoke that reaction out of someone with a Kansai accent since I was a girl. 
Thank you, Mr. Robo. Thanks to you, my dream has come true and I can die happy. Y'all allows me on the roadside there. Well, that's how it is. Chuck, right? You see, there is my private property. Y'all remember that now. And you encountered in a little bird cage. Today is a good day. I should make some coffee to celebrate. Please sit down, both of you. And so the three of us enjoyed an early afternoon part of tea. Coffee. Wait, aren't I supposed to be working? I stayed out on the town for too long and it's late. On my own, of course. Riding the stormy waves of life alone is what we humans are all about. Hey, human. What? Suddenly I'm surrounded by a bunch of unkempt pigeons. You got a pigeon nation, don't you? I bet a rich little girl like you that gets a lot of Pokemon from daddy, huh? Rich little girl going to fancy school since she's so great. Girl? Don't I, 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 I can't tell them apart. I can pick rates from a crowd of about 80% of the time, but rock dubs, I met all of the same. You have some business with me, not go away. Hey, that's not nice. Show us some cash, bro. Cash? They buff up their chests threateningly. Dumb punks. Picking on girls in the park is a good way to get ostracised for life. What? What? You little. Get angry now. My hunter gathering instincts can feel a fight coming. Three pigeons on my own. Can I win this? Slam. Thud. The work of a moment. Some birdie flits forwards and in the blink of an eye the doves are knocked to the ground, twittering in surprise. Looming majestically over the fallen doves is... Azami? I was close shot. Are you sure you should be out this late? What the? Who are you? Me? Well... I'm a passing type, type ta takoyaki lady. Takoyaki? Don't screw with us. They're stubborn. Here they come. We're not gonna take this to my future, not to me. Take this. Yeah. Not done yet, huh? I'll teach you chicks a lesson. Sparrow kick. It's Pokemon. This is so cool. Your sparrow kick is super cool. I'm sorry. But we'll actually share this when the real fight starts. It's army, twitching magnificent and magnificent and magnificent thing into the glow of neon lights and me, briefly punching the daylights out of cool dreams. Fighting back to back now, that's trust. Today's a local summer festival. I think I'll go with somebody. Invite. Oh no! Just because I was mean and took the job. Thanks for inviting me, Shark. Come on, let's go. So many boos. How are we supposed to choose? Use your hunter gatherer instincts, Shark. Let's go somewhere. To... Oh, let's go find something to eat our pay. What? No fair, I'm paying for yours. It's a deal. Hmm, the other toilet sounds good right about now. So I spent a happy evening with Rota. Maybe we can go again next year. I love me some of the other I'm sure flies when I'm in here. See all round, Kenzaburo? Oh, hey, Shark. Rabu finally heading home after staying in the cafe for much of the day, just as me on his way out of the door. Here, this is your tip. It's the magical candy from the bucket of an old lady in Osaka. So young men from Osaka can do it too. See all round. Good day, see you, Rabu. I think it's time to close up. Would you care for something sharp? It won't be as good as just sitting overnight. Is there any tonjo left? Of course. Here you are. Oh, that looks disgusting. Mm. Tonjiro from a fancy cup is the best. Mm. By the way, Mr. Onoshihara. Yes? Mr. Mr. Rabu comes here every day, right? He does, yes. I wonder what he does. Is he a nice security guard or something? 
chauffeur apparently he is turning out overnight. He likes to come here to relax before work. I bet you a guy who works at night. There are those among us pirates who prefer the night. The moon is wonderfully calming on clear nights. Rabu is renowned for being a very careful and reliable driver. And here I took him for the type to go wild behind the wheel. Hmm, haven't I met another careful driver recently? Okay, so that was the weirdness that is Hatful Boyfriend. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a cheeky old thumbs up if you did. Comment below, let me know what you'd like to see me play. Until next time, see your beautiful face in another video. Goodbye.